Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Logic Pro 10's stereo delay. So I've got my lead vocal track here, and what I'm actually going to do is, instead of loading the stereo delay on the chain itself, I'm actually going to set it up as a send, so that I can also send other instruments to it if I want to. So the way I do that is simply click just here, below my existing sends, and go to bus, and just go to an available bus, And you see here it's set up an auxiliary channel strip just to the right of the channel strip there. And what I'm going to do is just load the stereo delay. So let's go to delay, stereo delay, and stereo. Just close that for a minute. And then I'm just going to send some of this signal to that stereo delay. The benefit of doing this is not only do I have a whole channel strip for this delay, I also have a fader so I can adjust it in the mix and also I can send other instruments to that same bus delay. So let's move forward with exploring the stereo delay now. Just going to call this delay bus. I just did st hyphen delay for stereo delay so I know what that bus is when I look at the mixer. So I've sent some to it and let's have a listen. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments I feel like I'm flying. Okay, so there's quite a bit of stuff going on there. I can hear some repetitions on the left and some repetitions on the right. What I'm going to do is toggle the mute on the bus just so that you can hear the difference. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Okay, so it really does add some depth to the sound just as it is, but now we're going to go into the delay itself and explore the settings and refining the settings for what we're working on. What I'm actually going to do is solo this bus. When you solo the bus that the delay is on, you're only hearing the full wet signal, if you like. So you can just hear the separate delay feeds going left and right there. Let's have a look at how that works. So I just open the stereo delay and here we are. Lots of features here, lots to explore. Now, the first thing to note is that it's a stereo delay. So even if you load this on a mono track, it effectively becomes a stereo track. The mono signal will go into the plugin. One version of it will be sent to the left delay and another version of it will be sent to the right delay allowing you to take a mono track like a vocal and add some stereo depth to it which is pretty cool. In this video we're going to explore some of the simplest features of the delay so let's start with the delay time. So the delay time is just the interval in which the repetitions happen so let's for example switch the left delay to a to a sixteenth dotted. Let's see what that sounds like. So if you're using headphones or a stereo set of monitors, you should be able to make a distinction between what's going on left and what's going on right. And also I can assign the frequencies at which the filter are effective on the left channel. So let's say I do a really, really high narrow filter on this one. So starting at five kilohertz and going up to 20 kilohertz. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, so you can hear that it's a really airy delay on the, on the left channel there. The good thing about that is, is that if there's like a lot of energy already in that part of the frequency spectrum in the mix, 
then you can just focus the delay in a more empty area of the frequency spectrum, which can really, really help the mix. You can still have that depth. You can still have that sort of sense of width, but you can just focus it on a particular area in the frequency spectrum. And you could do that left and right independently. You might already have a lot of sort of mid-range energy on the left channel, but not so much on the right channel. And you can assign those filters independently, left and right. As well, a stereo delay with this many features has many creative applications beyond just mixing, but it's really useful for adding depth to a vocal in a mix as well. We have a feedback. So this basically determines how intense the feedback loop is. So when the signal gets duplicated and then delayed and then fed back into the dry signal to create repetitions, this is the intensity of that feedback loop. And we can set that independently for left and right as well. So you can hear there that the left delay just rings out quite a lot longer than the right delay does. Great. You can also assign a crossfeed from left to right. So you can have some of the feedback going from the left bleeding to the right. So let's experiment with that. And vice versa with right to left. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the filter on the right channel now. Okay, and I'm just going to adjust the rate of the left delay. I'm just going to make everything a bit slower so you can more easily discern between the repetitions and a bit more rhythmic as opposed to just flutters. So let's make this one an eighth dotted. Let's see what that sounds like against the crotchet on the left. Great, I really like the way that the rhythm of the left works against the right there. And I'm going to listen to what that sounds like in the mix. So I'm going to unsolo my delay bus, and then I'm going to ride the fader to kind of adjust the balance between the delay against the dry signal. I'm actually going to start from negative infinity and then just bring it into the mix a bit. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Wind rushes past my face. And Okay, so hearing it in context of the mix, I probably want to slow things down a bit. I thought it was just a bit still too, a bit too flattery for the overall sort of rhythm of the music. So I'm just going to make some final adjustments. Make this one one over two. And this one, let's try quarter dotted. See what that sounds like. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. Okay, I think I find that quarter dotted a bit distracting. 
So I'm going to adjust this now to something a lot slower. Let's go with this. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. I'm going to dial down the feedback, actually, because that's ringing out a bit too much for me. I'm going to refine this even more. So let's just do crotchets on that channel. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Cool, getting there. I just want to make some final adjustments on the filters here because I really like the way that it's just creating like a bed of sound in the far sides of the stereo image here. So it's really giving the mix a sense of depth. Just need to refine the filter so it's not too muddy in the frequencies below it. Rushes past my face and through my hair. Okay, nearly there, just solo this now. Okay, uh, what I think is distracting actually is that the feedback for the quarter notes is longer than the half notes. So I'm going to increase the feedback on this one. Decrease the feedback here. A bit less crossfeed between them. Okay, a little less feedback on the left. Okay, and now I'm just going to turn down the right because it just seems a bit louder, just seems a bit heavy on the right channel. So I'm just going to dial down the mix there. And then just bring the low cut ever so slightly up. It's still just a little bit heavier. Bit more feedback on the right. And a little less on the left. There we go. So there's nice airiness going left and right, creating a sort of wider image, and there's plenty of space in the middle for the main vocal. So I'm just going to unsolo this now and see what that feels like and ride the fader. Wind rushes past my face and through my hair. For the briefest of moments, I feel like I'm flying. Awesome. Much closer to what I want to get to. And those are some of the 
basic features of the stereo delay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.